As teachers, we've all spent time creating PowerPoint slides, but sometimes they just don't get the student engagement we're hoping for. If you're tired of seeing students zone out during presentations, I've got good news. In today's video, I'll show you how to easily update your existing PowerPoints with interactive features like adding quizzes, polls, and even AI-generated content to make your lessons more engaging and dynamic. Let's dive in. To quickly add interactivity into your PowerPoint slides, we can use the PowerPoint add-in class point to analyze your content and create personalized quiz questions based off that information. If you're not sure what class point is, class point is an interactive teaching add-in for PowerPoint that you can download and install for free at classpoint.io. To, once it's downloaded and installed, you'll get access to the class point tab in the PowerPoint ribbon. This gives you access to interactive quiz features, gamification, presentation tools, the class point AI, and so much more. So once you have it all downloaded and installed, let's get started using that class point AI. The first thing that you'll need to do is open your pre-made PowerPoint file. So this could be any PowerPoint file. In this example, I have one on cell biology. And then next, we'll want to navigate to the slide that we want to get an interactive quiz question based off of. So here I have one on the different types of cells, and I want to check my students' understanding after we go through this information. So let's go into our PowerPoint presentation mode next. And here you'll notice that there's the class point toolbar at the bottom of your screen screen with this AI button on it. So we can click that. And before we generate a question, let's check out our different options. So from here, you'll see that you can select your question type. You have multiple choice, fill in the blanks or short answer or any combination of those three. And then you can also select what level of Bloom's taxonomy that you want to use. So go ahead and adjust these depending on what your needs are. Um, that way it fits your needs for your students and the type of question you want to ask. Then you can select your language and let's just go ahead and generate. So class point AI will then analyze your slide and generate a question based off of that information. So here we have our question. Feel free to generate another if needed. You'll also see that we have a note on what level of Bloom's taxonomy there is. We can also check our answer and then let's save it as a slide in our presentation. So once it's saved as a slide in your presentation, it just goes right after the previous, the other slide. So here was our informational slide. And now we have our um, question slide that also has added our class point interactive quiz button. So once I click on this, we can start getting live student responses from our students who have joined into our class. To learn a little bit more about how students can join into your class and participate live, take a look at the video linked up above. This is the most efficient way to create quizzes that are directly tied to your content, saving you time while ensuring your questions match the material you're teaching. One major time drain of adding in interactivity is designing your slides. Another way to add in your questions with ClassPoint into your PowerPoint is with our quiz ideas feature. So this quiz ideas feature is actually a template library. So you can browse the results by question type here on the side. So here we have some multiple choice options and some image upload options. And you can use this to just find a slide design background, or you can also scroll through to find a specific question if you need some help with a little bit of creativity. So I love using this, especially for multiple choice slides, so that way you don't have to type out the A, B, C, D options um, for your students to see. So let's scroll through here and find a nice background. And let's insert this as a template, insert this template as a slide in our presentation. So once we select that, you'll see that it is now here, and then you can add it and adjust to your own questions needs. So that can be adding in any picture or just adjusting the question and answer choices. So let's go ahead and update this for our example here. So let's just paste in our question and we'll want to just keep that text and then you can adjust and we will add in our three answer choices here. Then don't forget to adjust your question options. So we already have three here, but if there is that correct answer, go ahead and adjust that here. Now you've successfully added in another question slide to better interact with your students in a snap. And lastly, if you already have a question in mind that you want to add to your presentation, we can just do it manually. So to add a question slide into your PowerPoint presentation, the first step is to add a slide. So let's go ahead and we'll just duplicate this one and let me remove all of our 
extra things here. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can add in our question and your answer choices if you're doing a multiple choice or fill in the blanks question. So here I have my question that we can type in. Then feel free to adjust so that way it fits nicely on your slide. Then we can add in your answer choices because for this example, I'm also gonna be doing a multiple choice. So let me just type in our A. So now once you have your question and your answer choices on your slide, we can now add interactivity with that class point interactive quiz button. So let's go into the class point tab in your PowerPoint ribbon and select the corresponding question that fits with the question on your slide. So since we have a multiple choice option here, we'll select multiple choice and we've added that multiple choice button onto our slide. The side panel will open up and here is where we can customize our question. So we are already have four choices. Our A, B, C, D is four there. And then we don't have any multiple, we don't want students to select any multiple choices for this question, but we do have a correct answer of D here. If you want to make it a little bit more fun and engaging with some gamification features, you can turn on this quiz mode. Take a look at uh, the video up above to learn a little bit more about Class Points quiz mode. But otherwise, that's all you need to do to set up Class Points interactive quiz questions. Now you are good to go. As soon as you are presenting, with your students, you enter your PowerPoint presentation mode. When you are ready to re begin receiving those live student responses, just click on that class point button and you'll begin seeing those responses. Before you leave, a quick bonus tip for you. I'm going to show you how we can generate a lots of questions instead of just singular questions with AI using the AI tool at Cafe AI. Then you can seamlessly put all of these questions into your PowerPoint file without having to worry about copying and pasting all of those questions. So let's reduce that manual work and get lots of AI questions for your students. This is perfect for review games or just to intermix that interactivity throughout your presentation. So to get started, we're going to go to Ed Cafe AI. You can sign up for a free account and then once you're in you can create lots of different content but today we're going to be focusing on that quiz feature. From here you can generate a quiz based off of any topic, text, web page, or a file which is what we're going to be focusing on today is we can simply just drop in that PowerPoint file that we were using. Then you can generate questions based on your whole PowerPoint file. So once that's um, done uploading, we can select our question type here, the number of questions, and then of course you can add in any additional instructions. So let's just say we want to um, focus our questions on the cell biology and different type of cells. That way, if your PowerPoint file is pretty long, you only want one specific area, feel free to throw that in there, or you can add in any specific types of questions like the level of Bloom's taxonomy or different things like that. So it's pretty free for you to adjust this as needed. Then you can add in your student level, let's say ninth grade here. And then we can generate our quiz and Ad Cafe will analyze that file that we upload, uploaded and come up with our 10 different questions. So we can go through and review these. Do note that these are all editable. So then that way you can adjust as needed. But once all of the questions look good, we can go ahead and save this file. That way we can easily export it. I'm just going to save it there. Then you can save it in any specific file in your Ed Cafe AI library. That way you have easy access for the future. So once this is saved, we can automatically assign it to students digitally. But today we are focused on exporting this as a Microsoft PowerPoint. This way it's really easy for us to either use this PowerPoint file as our review game, or we can simply copy and paste those slides into our other file. So let me show you guys. So here we have that file that was generated. So from here, you see that we have our question slide. We can simply go ahead and add in our multiple choice question on our slide. Or you can go ahead and we can copy this and paste it back into our other slide at different points throughout your presentation. That way you can intermix this with your lesson content. Like I said, this is great for, for a review game of only your questions or intermixing them. Especially great for review games if you add in that quiz mode to add in that gamification. So make sure to check out that link down below to learn a little bit more about that. 
So there you have it. Class Point makes it simple to turn your static PowerPoint slides into interactive learning experiences. And with the bonus tip of integrating AdCafe AI, you've got even more ways to enhance your presentations. I hope this video gave you some great ideas for making lessons more engaging and dynamic. Don't forget to subscribe to the Class Point channel for more tips on using Class Point, different ed tech tools in your classroom, and of course, AI tools like AdCafe AI.